Hello everybody and welcome to the Daily Planets edition of Athena's Web. We're taking a look at another weekend for you, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the 28th, 29th and 30th of August 2015. Well, we've got a couple of planetaries going on on Friday uh, to start our uh, weekend. Mercury semi-squares Venus a little before 7 in the morning. The Sun sesquiquadrates quadrates Uranus a little after noon in the afternoon. Uh, things are not going quite as smoothly as we'd like for them to. There's a few changes. There's a few bumps. Uh, shouldn't be too big a deal. It's not the, the color or hue, Mercury uh, semi-squaring Venus. It's not the color, the hue, the, the, the just the shape that you wanted, whatever, but look back at it retrospectively, not a big deal. The two biggies that really catch my eye are coming in on Saturday. Number one is the full moon at uh, about 2.30 in the afternoon. That means that Friday night is the evening leading into the full moon. In my humble opinion, as these pressures build, is where the energy is strong and getting stronger. And so we feel some of that coming in. The moon rules the night, so naturally as it becomes evening, there's a greater power there. On Saturday, though, at 6.30 in the morning, Mars is in conjuncting the planet Pluto, and as I say, the full moon at 2.30 that afternoon. Six, uh, what, eight hours later, approximately. Uh, this is intense. Uh, the circumstances are being forced. Uh, uh, you could, there could be breakage, there could be loss, there could be an accident that, that costs a considerable amount of money under this one. Do be careful. Emotional pressure and power is peaking Friday, Saturday, and if we make a mistake, it could be a, a real ball buster. <laughs> Translate that out of your funk and wackles. Uh, Sunday, comparatively speaking, simmers down somewhat. We don't have any planetaries uh, going on at that time. Lunar activity bouncing back and forth. Oh, late morning, there's a little bit of energy. Mid-afternoon, we're doing okay, 2 to 3 o'clock. And uh, 8 to 9 o'clock in the evening is possibly the best. So there you go. That's the weekend forecast. Thanks a lot for tuning in as best you can. Have a good one, everybody. Ha!